wake up. We're here. Been around here a long time. Seen a lot of things. Seen a lot of people come and go. They just disappear back into the black. Get swallowed by the universe. Oh, Guapo, how are you still alive? Worried they finally got to you, they say. I'm always around, especially when they least expect it. When the dollar moves around, I seem to know my place. But you know, money ain't everything in this world. Some things you gotta do for the love of the game, the thrill of the chase. You do it for all those memories of the people you leave in your wake. Giovanni here, seeing what he thought about it. This video is based on a couple comments I've gotten recently. You know, mining is not profitable, takes too long, can't do it fast. You know, I'm mostly used to getting fan mail. It's not often I get a message like this, so I felt this topic needed to be addressed. So today we're gonna go over a 30 minute or less solo mole speed run. We're gonna go over three things. One, the mindset. Two, what to look for. And three, the action and profits. My four runs are sped up, chopped up, and back to back. Looks like Giovanni is itching to get started, huh? Let's get into it. If your goal is to do your solo mole runs in under 30 minutes, then you have to shift your mindset. Your primary goal is to no longer get tier ones or break the big rocks or get rich quick. Your new mindset is speed, efficiency, and consistency. It's tier two. It's big cluster sizes. It's high percentage breaks. Extracting loads of 70% plus of tier 2. Your choice of locations may need to change. Tier 1 should be seen as a lucky addition to add to your hourly rates. It should no longer be your primary focus. Our goal is to scan less and mine more. So to start our run efficiently, I want you to get a Hofstede 2 laser. Then I want you to put on two Torrent 3 modules. This is gonna make your green window charge 90% faster, plus you have the 20% additional from the Hostead too. This will be used for all sub breaks. Now let's start our run. Loading location. I'm not gonna say much throughout this video. I'm gonna let the video do the talking. But when trying to do these speed runs, I search for big cluster RS signatures 10K plus. I search for clusters that are next to each other as well if it's possible. I usually do not waste time flying around scanning. I'm either getting into the action or jumping to a new quantum point on the moon if I don't like what I see. The first cluster you find that has good tier 2 percentages, mine it.
as you can see here, I didn't even realize when I started my run with almost empty modules. So this whole endeavor ended up wasting about seven minutes. You'll see how this affected the run and the end results. You can definitely see the risk versus reward dynamic going after big tier ones on a speed run. we had an average time of 29 minutes and about 45 seconds. We made a total of 908,578 UEC. I did those four runs back to back. I have a lot of sub 30 minute runs recorded. Hell, I even have some 20 minute runs, I'm sure. I've had fast runs where I find giant quant rocks right away and tier one all over the place, but I wanted to show you the more realistic side of it. I wanted to show you that you could consecutively and consistently achieve this every time you go out if you wanted to. Now I want to take the time to apologize to my viewers Baron Von Scruff and Wrist. They both submitted their runs and they just didn't make the final cut due to time constraints. I appreciate your dedication to our cause. Now if you liked the video I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and I invite you all to come join our discord at discord.io forward slash El Guapo's gate. Now I hope I don't start seeing you jabronis stealing all my rocks but I want to say good luck and good riddance.